Hello guys, welcome back. This is the part 4 of our self-hosting Signal O and Web API. This part we will look at consuming Signal O services with our JavaScript client. As I always say, rather than talking too much, we can get started. Uh, but once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do subscribe to the channel. And let's get started. We will continue from where we where we left off with the part three of our previous section. Here, as you know from the previous, I've already cre created a um, servhost.web client. So we come inside the servhost.web client and, and do some. First of all, what we do is we just add a, a, a new controller. So we just add an empty controller. We just call it home. Usual stuff. Once we've got our home controller created, we will add um, a view. As we actually starting from the like um, a very very empty project we just add a new view which is mvc5 view and what we do is we just use um, a layout page with it so boom there we go now we've got um, our index dot CSHTML created with the necessary um, markup and CSS file so what we would do now is we, we, we go to the new get and, and, and add a package what we do is we add um, a signal out client so that will be JS client so we download it then one more thing we used um, an uh, up-to-date um, jQuery so obviously if you don't cost um, as you can see I've got the 1.10 version which is a little bit crap so what I'm doing is I'll just update my jQuery. So now we're done. Close. Then what? 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 One more thing we're gonna do is um. We come to the the views folder. We add one more folder. We just call it scripts. And we add a view. And we just make it a partial view. Um, we call it um, self host script then you can obviously put an underscore if you want okay that's it there for here so what we're going to do is we're going to we come to the layout which is being created for us automatically and scroll down so here what we do is we just remove the, um, the jQuery First of all, we put our, our minimized version of our jQuery. We put our signal all, the minimized version. Then we, we put our hub. So, so what we do is we, 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 we put our hub here. So we have a script.
sauce that will be um, http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon a three a nine a three a nine colon signal r forward slash hops then we close it here uh, what we do one more we just put the type that's what a test javascript then one last thing we put uh, this will be partial we put the the JavaScript that we are about to create. So what we do is um, we just add the full scripts. Um, then self host self host script dot cs html. I suppose that's it we've got for here. It's not actually recognizing it. So what we do is just So what we do is just um just remove it here and see if we can drag and drop it inside it. So what we do is we just copy the link here. Then remove everything. We post the link inside and we should be done. Boom, that's it. So that's fine here. What we do is now we come to the the main. This is where we're going to write our um, simple JavaScript. So what we do is we get our script. Add this a type as test JavaScript. Fine. Then what we have is um. A function this is where we're going to put our everything that we're going to do for now here so what we could do we've got our connection dot hop dot url is equal to we put our um, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash uh, localhost colon a three eight nine um, forward slash signal R. Uh, what we've got is we've, we initiate a new variable. We call it connection, and that will be our dollar sign dot connection dot uh, hub notification hub notification hub that's it for here then one more thing what we have is a connection another connection dot um, client dot display time that's our client method display time so we will have a function that takes in a, a string as our time and then we can pass it on to um, our screen so what we do is we say first of all we come to our index here and what we do is let's say style background
Then test align. Center. And ID. We just call it time. So that's what we've got for here now. So now we can come back to our. So what we do is we select um, uh, a newly created ID as time. Then we just set some values for the CSS. Our background, of course. Our background. That will be blue. Then we can set uh, font color. So say color. That will be white. Then we put the test. That's our time. So that's pretty much what we do for here. So when we come out of it here, and we can actually put a semi a semicolon. I mean, just to break it, what we do is our connection. Call our connection dot hub and here we're going to register some server side um, events so we say starting so you know when it's starting so start so we pass in a function so inside our function here we could say we could call our ID it's time and we can make some changes to the CSS so, so that we can see whatever changes that is being undertaken. So background. So we changed it back. Um, so we make uh, the background. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we don't we don't change anything from here. So what we do going to do is we're going to say dot test. And we passed in test. And we can say connection start starting. Something like this. Then we come here, still our dollar sign dot connection dot hop dot disconnected. So we will know when we are disconnected so we pass in our function to handle our disconnection so in this case we just call that our, our, our id so because we don't want to be overly complicated here for here we can say we can actually make some changes to the css just to indicate that we are disconnected background can say client disconnected and that should be fine then one last thing that we would do here is um, now we can register we can start the connection properly dot connection dot start so we register if once the connection is finished we can say function pass our parameter um, it's a parameter with function so inside the function what we do is we call our connection dot server then we invoke our server method which is the server time Yeah, so for, for here for now, we can have some sort of a resource whenever actually we, we start we start or we, we click the start button. But for now, what we do is just we go back to the, the, the main solution. We, we set up the, the startup project.
So inside there, what we can do is we are going to add the work client to the startup projects. We save it and we F5. I'm going to pause it while it runs. Obviously, as we are now, it takes some time. So once once the the, the browser is open, then I'll, I'll as you can see we've got um the projects starting up so as you can see we started up we've got our index service started now so as you can see we can see some changes happening very soon so as you can see we have our server, um, I mean our client getting information from our signal our services. So you see, if you can see, if if I if I close this um, the server, the time stops, and if if you hold on a bit, you get the the message that the server has been, the connection disconnected. It takes only a few moments. So <laughs> we are okay and fully and it's all good now. So um what we what we will do on the next video is we will try um we will work on authorizations and authentications inside a the um uh, web API and signal out applications. So please stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed once again please make sure you do subscribe and I hope to get on with the part 6 very soon, um, part 5 to be precise. Thanks a lot for your time and hope to catch up yeah. soon. Bye bye.